All the President's Men is a non-fiction book written by Bob Woodward and Carl Bernstein, two journalists who covered the Watergate scandal for the Washington Post. The book details their investigation into the Watergate break-in at the Democratic National Committee headquarters in 1972 and the subsequent cover-up by the Nixon administration. The book was published in 1974, while the Watergate scandal was still ongoing. The book begins with a detailed account of the Watergate break-in and the early stages of the investigation. Woodward and Bernstein described their initial skepticism about the story and their struggle to convince their editors to give them the resources to pursue it. They then go on to describe their reporting process, which involved building sources and piecing together information from various government agencies and individuals connected to the case. Throughout the book, the authors reveal the many obstacles they faced while investigating the story, including resistance from government officials, threats from anonymous sources, and pressure from their own newspaper to back off the story. Despite these challenges, Woodward and Bernstein were able to uncover a number of key details about the Watergate break-in and the cover-up, including the involvement of high-level officials in the Nixon administration, such as White House Chief of Staff H. R. Haldeman and Attorney General John Mitchell. The book also provides a behind-the-scenes look at the inner workings of the Washington Post, including the role of editor Ben Bradley and the newspaper's legal battles with the Nixon administration. The book concludes with the resignation of President Nixon on August 8, 1974, in the face of almost certain impeachment. It also notes that many of the key figures in the Watergate scandal were later convicted of various crimes and served prison time. Overall, All the President's Men is a gripping and well-written account of one of the most significant political scandals in American history and the journalists who uncovered it. It is considered as a classic work of investigative journalism and continues to be widely read and studied today.